being a Beast Boy fan that I am, I feel like I really have to make it a lot. So I disagree. So I think some of you are Beast Boy. You know, the top, number one top. You see here the little man. Beast Boy, aka Card Carrier. You know that you've actually cabled much more as strong throughout the years. So they can finally use the show and maybe they Comics, Earth 22 and 96. These boys can be for actual fire breathing dragon, literally dragon, but no joke, you can look it up. You don't have to burn his uh uh fights with the Titans. It is also an arm. Um, I'm older than that. That um, explains the gist of his powers. He's also able to do these abilities really because of his connection to the power source that's known as the red which is basically an animal version of the flash's speed force the red is a zone in which all animals alive or dead as well as microorganisms flow throughout the universe Boys also turn into a giant starfish. You can look that up too if you don't know. The little starfish and Titans. I think it was Beast Boy, probably. And then his said upon a star. He said it kind of looked like a star. But he goes and calls it Bala. Also known as the Star of that's why he didn't want to go by Star Wars. 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 at the time, and how it fits to the at those stages. In the animated movie Teen Titans vs. Justice League, while in hell, Beast Boy turned into a demonic, long-tailed, demonic, wolf-like thing. You can tell the process pains him in the beginning until later he turned into a little demon and then question if those forms are in his catalog now. In the 90s TV show, Titan Teen Titans, the original OG one of the Cartoon Network, he turned into almost every animal on Earth shown once he turned into two creatures at once. I think it's like a, it's called a hybrid. He turned into a hybrid, a dinosaur, and a humanoid. And the humanoid is a um, basically a type of earth lizard. I guess that's the simplest way of putting it. And the, live, the recent live action series. Start when it started, but um, the live action series Titans. That was the last, the last episode 
of the season. I don't know why I'm not making the season anymore, but it was regard to the season. But the last episode of the season we decided. The season the episode of the yeah, in the live action series Titans Garfield that he's connected to the red which is what I'm going to mention again and they explain it in that episode but it's explained to him in that episode by Freedom Beast and it displays in the season finale dude where's my guard that's the name of the episode. I don't see how he would be able to turn to a Kryptonian or any other alien in that case. Brought for past knowledge and then leading comics, leading all the way up to um, this, the season finale of Titan. Like he's really underrated. I don't care what people say. Uh, Superman, Batman can beat him, bro. He's Superman level, if not. He's past Superman because Superman is strong and whatever and invincible, but Beast Boy's powers is just so up there. He just isn't, he doesn't escalate himself to that, basically to that. He doesn't get wet as full of his show. So of course he doesn't really fuss about his S tier here, he's just here to fight crime. He beats a tofu and have fun with his friend. And flurry where he's looking to hear whatever chicks do. You look it up, you lose anybody in the game. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's been done. Just proof. Making it sucky out of my blade and warm water. He's excited. He's literally. He's kind of, that's why I'm going to figure out how to do it. So, with this map, I can see how he wouldn't be able to turn into King Kong. So, I think he has to get that. He could turn into King Kong. I believe. King Kong is a little star. He's 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 a little star. I think he can even turn to a goddamn uh, I'm just saying, I thought the scene of that was going to He can probably even do that, I believe. Technically, there's forms of real creeps on Earth that just. He's, hev he's heavily upgraded versions of everyday creatures, in a way. Inclusion, this is my proof of why Beast Boy is the underdog. And why he's more than he more than deserves the credit he's been given. Screw the mechanic. 